Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square, coming at you with another tutorial about CSS. Today we're going to talk about how to style your contact form. I have another video that has a very brief description of this, but after fielding some questions in a Facebook group about CSS, I decided to spend a little bit more time on this. So we're gonna get into some details, okay? So what you can change about your contact form using CSS. You can change the form field background. You can change form field borders. Your border options generally are dotted, dashed, and solid. You can also change the pixel width of the size of those borders and their color. And you can also change input text colors and sizes and description text colors and sizes. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna focus on backgrounds and borders, okay? So let's talk about how to update your contact form backgrounds and borders. For those of you that aren't really interested in learning the details, you just want to copy and paste something so it looks a little cooler, I made you two options. For form one, on this left-hand side here, we've got some dotted fields, um, and it removes the border from around the entire input field, just puts a uh, dotted on the bottom. And then for form two, we have a solid underline, and then we change the background of those fields so they aren't transparent, they're just slightly lighter of a blue than the rest of them. So if you just want to copy and paste these styles right into your website, it's beneath the video here. Otherwise, let's get into how this works, shall we? So I have a sample form here. This is the basic one that Squarespace has on my website. One thing that I want to mention before we get into the CSS is the submit button right here. I recommend changing this using the site styles menu of your website. To get there, you just select design, and then site styles. Now you can either type in button right here, or you can just click on the element once you're in this menu. And this is where you can change it from a solid to an outline, to a raised, whatever you'd like that to look like, and where you can adjust the button color and the text color and the font. I recommend using this menu to make those changes because Squarespace built it in there for a reason, makes it a lot easier. But let's talk about these other fields. We're not able to change these in the site styles editor. That's what we're gonna do using CSS. So I'm going to back out of this menu and show you how we reach CSS back on your main menu here. Again, we're going into design and then we'll go down to custom CSS. Now the two codes beneath the video, let's start with the first one and then we'll break it down so you can see what it exactly is doing here, okay? So I'm gonna copy and paste this code right here. And now we can see that the form fields have been updated. We now have a blue underline and a slightly different blue background there. Those are changed in this very first section of the code. This here is the border color. As you can see, it literally says border color, <laughs> and that's the hex code. So if you'd like to use this, but with one of your own colors, just change this six digit number here to what reflects the numbers that are the color code that you want to use. Now we repeat that in this section right here. Okay, so you're gonna put that in two different places, right here for border color and right here for the bottom border. This is where we're changing the options that we have for the border style itself. We're going to make it solid and we're going to make it two points in width. OK, so here we can change this to dotted if we like that instead, or we can change it to dashed, also another option, or just leave it as solid to get that solid underlying look. Now, after that, we also have the option to change the background color for the form field. And this is where I've entered that light blue color. If you don't want any background color to show, you just change that to transparent and it'll completely disappear, okay? So that's background color, that's right there. Alrighty, so those are your options with the form fields here and I've got the two beneath this video. We have the dotted one and we have the solid one there. I will create another video all about the input text colors and sizes and description text colors and sizes and hopefully post that either later this week or next week. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that one. And most important part, when you're all done editing your form, select save, okay? Then <laughs> you'll be good to go. All right, that's it for this week's tutorial. Have fun with your Squarespace website. Ready for more? Head on over to insidethesquare.co for more tutorials and exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. That's insidethesquare.co.